Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for um, watching this video. For any of you that are returning subscribers, I really appreciate you. Um, for anybody that may be new, welcome, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, this is going to be a cash break, uh, or budget breakdown, paycheck breakdown video, um, and I will show you guys how I break down my paychecks, and then on Friday, when I get my check, I will do a cash stuffing video. So here up first is my income. So I was expecting twelve seventy five oh seven. Um, I actually did get more than that. So I got thirteen oh eight oh two. So thirteen oh eight oh two. And then from this number, I subtract, and oh, we're gonna go down to bills now. So we have 130802. 665 goes towards our shared bills, which gives us a total of 64302. So this really happens before anything. Um, I just wanted to put that in there so I could explain to you how this number got to this number. So from here, I take 10% always, and it goes immediately into my savings account. So 64.30 is gonna go immediately into my savings. So we'll subtract 64.30. So we're going to be stuffing 578.72. All right, from there, the rest of my bills, these are my personal bills that aren't included in the shared. So Audible is 850. So 850 to Audible. I do half of my bills each paycheck because I get paid twice. So Apple Storage got a dollar. Car payment gets 142. Microsoft gets four. My Beach Body Coach website gets eight. My credit card one gets 20. My auto insurance gets 30. Credit card two gets 25. My Kindle Unlimited gets five. And I round these up to the mo usually either to the 50 or to the nearest dollar, um, just because it's easier for me with change. I don't like to take change out of the bank. Uh, credit card three is 25 again. And then Google storage is $1.50. So if we add all those up, I hope you can see my here. And I'm just gonna add up from Audible down because that 665 comes out automatically. So 850, all right. 850 plus 1 plus 142 plus 4 plus 8 plus 20 plus 30 plus 25 plus 5 plus 25 plus 150 and that gives us 270 that go towards bills so from there we take that 578 72 Subtract 270, and that gives us $308 and change um, to disperse between our cash envelopes, our sinking funds, and our savings challenges. So down here, um, in personal and gas, I did change it a little bit. I don't have the food and drinks. I'm bundling that into personal, and I've taken away my pay it forward um, just because I wanted to focus on other things at the moment. So 20 is, uh, personal is going to get 20. Um, I gave myself 50 last time and I only used about half. So um, I'm not gonna give myself that much this time. And gas is going to get 30. So that equals 50 altogether. So from 308.72, we're gonna subtract the 50 and that's gonna give us 258 and change for our cat our sinking funds and our savings challenges so from there we're gonna go here I color-coded these as um, 
to distinguish between my high priority and my low priority. Uh, just a little bit easier for me to understand um, what's going to get what. So for medical and dental, I'm going to give five. Whoop. House is also going to get five. I am priority. I, you'll see some new ones in here. Um, and I'll explain those a little bit more when I do the cash stuffing. Um, but I am prioritizing specific ones over others. Um, so you'll see some big numbers in some and then very little numbers in others. And that is why, because I want to bulk up two specific ones really, really quickly. Um, so down payment is going to get 100. And I'll talk about that one a little more during the cash stuffing. But me and my boyfriend are um, looking for a house. So I wanted to get a decent down payment on my end going. Um, so I want to bulk that up very much. Emergency fund also getting a decent bit because I want to bulk that up. Car maintenance is getting $3. I did just have an issue with my car. Um, it was making some weird noise that sounded like when you when a shoe hits the wrong side of the dryer, like that thumping. Um, and luckily it wasn't anything too big, only $28 out of my car maintenance I had to use. So that made me feel really good. Um, car or registration is getting three and car insurance is getting three. My CompTIA certification is actually not getting anything um, this time around. But my comp build, my computer build, is going to get $5. I have a $1,600 goal because I've built my computer online. Um, and that's how much it came out to. So once I have that, I'll purchase all of the pieces and I will build my own computer. I'm very excited. Down to our lower priorities. Gifts and holidays is getting five. Vacation is getting three. I like to try to give some things, everything at least something, but unfortunately this week I'm not able to do that. Um, beauty is not getting anything and clothing is not getting anything. But I, you know, I gotta do my Stella May. I am missing a category. But Stella May is gonna get her five. Beach Body is gonna get three. Books is not getting anything because I still have a bunch of credit uh, gift cards. Give it uh, giveaways is going to get five. And my personal savings is not getting anything, but anything that is left in my personal folder is going to be there. But I'm just gonna put a note right here because I forgot this category. So Tita's budgets. So I did change my name from funding with Tia to Tita, Tita's budget. Um, I apologize for the change, but I thought this sounded better. Um, and I'm hoping you guys will enjoy it too. And it will give a little bit of an understanding up to what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm giving myself $3, um, in that one. So in total, that should be $258, which is what I have left. So let's take a count. So five plus five plus 100 plus 110, three, three, three. Five, five, three, five, three, five, three. So two hundred and fifty eight dollars. So total two fifty eight, which gives us a zero dollar remaining, which means we are not doing the save opoly this time around. And we are not doing the 26 week, but I will do the one and the five. So whatever is left there, um, I will stuff in the one and five. If I do have anything bigger than a one and five, I might try to distribute it between the 26 week and the saveopoly, but I haven't fully decided yet. So that is my cash budget breakdown for this coming paycheck on Friday. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys um, returning for that video and getting to see the cash stuffing of this paycheck. All right. Thank you guys for joining. Have a great night.